One time, the Buddha was living in the mountain, a vulture peak in central India. At that time, there were 500 arhats and 1,000 bodhisattvas, sitting around and listening to the Buddha's teachings. In the audience, there is a bodhisattva named Anicca. He listened absorbly to the sutra and path taught by the Buddha. He was concentrating only on the Dharma without any distracting thoughts. The six paramitas are the pure practices carried out by the bodhisattvas, which are the express path to get enlightened. Well, what are the six paramitas? The first paramita is charity. The second paramita is morality. The third paramita is patience. The fourth paramita is effort. The fifth paramita is meditation. The sixth paramita is wisdom or prajna. The Collective Sutra of Six Paramitas. Episode One: Charity. Once upon a time, a great merchant named Santan, the one praised by fairies, had countless wealth. He often read the Buddhist sutras and understood the impermanence of life, that all the glory, fortune, and life are impermanent. He got to know that only charity would be the immortal merits. So Santan announced to all ordinary citizens that he would satisfy the needs of the poor people by donating. At that time, the country was prosperous and the people were rich. Several months passed, but no one came to ask for money and valuables. Now that no one came to ask for money and valuables. I could only buy the medicines to treat the disease. So Santan bought a lot of good medicines to save lives. He has been so kind and loving to help so many people everywhere. For months and years, he had benefited countless people. One day, he finally ran out of all his assets, so he decided to go to the sea to search for treasures. Well, where are you going? We are going to see Santan to cure our diseases; otherwise, we would die. I am Santan. Please be patient to wait me back. Oh, what a coincidence! He's Santan. Santan returned immediately and borrowed five hundred taels of gold from the king. He bought the medicine, and the merchants were recovered from diseases. Then Santan and the merchants went to the sea to search for treasures, and they gained a lot.
什么是水都干了。Please hold on. I am trying to find the source of water. <laughs> Seeing the deep well full of water, and thinking about the shining and valuable jewelries. Suddenly, a greedy thought came to the merchants. So the merchants pushed Santan into the deep well. Uh, where is Santan? He left us when he went out of the country. We do not know where he is now. Wouldn't you murder him for his treasure, and you killed him? No, no, no! How dare we kill him? Hmm. Hmm. Santan has been so kind and acted as a bodhisattva that the gods of heaven and earth were touched. A god stretched his hands and caught him so that he was unscathed. When Santan fell into the well, he saw a cave on the side. Which led to the well of a family. Then he climbed up from the well.
and walked for seven days and finally came back to his country. Santan, why do you come back with empty hands? Because of my bad luck, I failed to find any treasures. This is strange. Something must be wrong with it. <laughs> Listen carefully. If you want to live, tell me what really happened. Otherwise, you will all be executed. Our king, spare me, spare our lives! <laughs> Zantan sobbed for the merchants and went to the king immediately and asked for forgiveness. Zantan, these merchants severely violated the law. They deserve to be punished. These foolish people thought of evils for a moment. It's not enough for the wise man to punish them. Please be merciful to forgive their ignorance. Um. Mm. <laughs> the king praised Santan for his kind-heartedness and forgave the merchants for their guilty of murder and forced them to return the treasures immediately. If Santan was not the follower of the Buddha, how could he be so merciful and kind-hearted? Yes, he is. He's so amazing. Uh, um, uh, uh. We are so grateful of you to save our lives. Do accept all these treasures. Please don't refuse. So Santan granted the merchant's request. He returned a part of the treasures to the king and donated all the remained treasure for charity. Santan at that time turned to be the current Buddha Sakyamuni. The king, officials, and citizens were deeply moved by the merits of Santan. Gradually, they took refuge with Buddhism and observed precepts. From then on, sons were filial and officials were faithful. All were well protected by the gods of heaven. The country became richer and richer and the people enjoyed a happy life. The neighboring states admired its kindness and got along with it peacefully. <laughs>